everybody, it's Sky here, and I am here with you today with another tutorial that I was requested to do from one of the ladies in the Hannah group. Uh, now this tutorial is going to be how I add noses to Hannah's girls, and I figured since I am only going to do one image for this tutorial, but there are different um, ways that Hannah draws her girls' faces, I would just do a quick... Um, just a little demo about the position and where I would put the nose on these different faces. So I'm just going to zoom in here. So we'll start with this girl. She's looking more to the right. So how I would do her nose is I would have a little bit of a harsher line on the right side and then just a more subtle line on the left side. Kind of like that. And I know it looks funny in pencil. Um, they all do, even if you get the placement pretty much perfect, just because it's too dark. When you actually go in with the pencils, it looks a little better. So for a girl that's looking almost straight on, no, actually she's, she's kind of looking towards the left. So what I would do is I would put a darker line on the left side and again just a lighter one on the right side. So I'd probably go a little bit like that. And again this girl's pretty straight on. So what I would do is I would just kind of have a medium to dark line just going up. And for the most part I will put the um, I'll have the nose kind of leaning towards where the crease in her eyelashes would be. And I don't have it going all the way up, and you'll see when we when we go ahead and color. So there you go. You could use that as a reference if you're into adding noses on Hannah's girls or wanted to try it. Um, the image that I have decided to use for this tutorial is Wendy's Walrus. And I'm hoping that I don't have to do an intro on this so I don't have to edit it and can just upload it. So right here is the colors that I'm going to be using for her skin. So if you just want to write those down or pause it so you can write them down, you can. <coughs> I also apologize if I sound funny. I don't know if I'm sick or these the smoke from these fires in BC is getting to me, but I've definitely had a sore throat for the last few days and have been coughing a bit, so I apologize if I uh, have a coughing fit on this video or, again, if I sound funny. So, for this video, I'm just going to keep it, sh well, try to keep it short. We all know how my videos go, but I'm going to just do her face. I'm not going to bother Maybe I will edit it. I'll do her face first, and then I'll just color the rest of the skin, but I'll speed it up. Um, I'm just going to grab my cards here quick. Oh, dumping the camera here. So that way I know which colors we're using. I should have done this first. but it's Okay, I guess we're going to need those colors. Okay, we have three, four, five pencils. One, two, three, four, five, plus the ones we'll use for blush. So, perfect. Let's just put this back. And again, as always, I apologize for my squeaky chair. It can't be helped. I'm just going to quickly grab out our blush colors, which are... If my camera wants to zoom in, that would be great. Hot pink and process red, which are my usual blush colors. You could go with lighter colors to get a softer blush. You could always just play around with that and kind of see. 
Right, so first I'm going to go in with light peach. And like I do all the skin, I am just going to very, very lightly just go over her whole face with the light peach. One second. So we're back. My little toddler there had a little temper tantrum and then my, uh, update screen on my phone popped up so I figured I'd better do that before it cuts us off because my phone is very aggressive when there's an update and I was just about to say that I will never buy a phone like this again and it cut off for some reason apparently my phone doesn't understand airplane mode because I'm still getting notifications but I turned it off and then back on hopefully it'll be okay I hate updating my phone because it usually turns out a little wacky even after the update. But like I said, my phone's pretty aggressive. It'll keep popping up with the update screen just randomly and it'll close whatever I'm doing, so it doesn't really give me much choice. Okay, so once you're happy with your first layer of light peach, we will go in with our beige and just do the exact same thing. <laughs> I apologize, that was my son's phone. No, daddy's not home, silly. Daddy's at work. Daddy's at work. We're just doing the same thing here. We're just going to lightly blush in the beige. So the camera can't even really pick these colors up yet. And now we do the same thing with the peach. So these are just using light little circles. Just try and cover the whole area or just as much as you can. The first layers are just our base, so it's okay if you miss pieces. It'll all get uh, completed later on. Okay, and next is clay rose. I'm going to go very, very lightly with this one. Got a little bit of a smudge looking mark right there, but I'm sure that'll blend out later on. Now, usually I do more tan looking girls. Usually I would go in with the light umber um, and put a layer down of that. But since she's underwater, I don't really want her to be very tan. I'm actually going to try and make her look fairly pale. So I'm just going to put some light umber around the edges here and create some shadows. So I'm gonna go in underneath her eyebrows so that makes it look like her eyebrow kind of pops out a little bit. Um, just over the crease of her eye. And we'll do the same thing on the other side here as well as on the side of her face. I'll we'll put a shadow in under this fringe of hair here. And just around her cheeks. I 
again I'm pressing very lightly I'm going to use pretty much the same pressure throughout this whole image until we get to the end where we start to blend everything in together so that should give you an idea that you should be using a very very light hand I'm barely even pressing it's pretty much just the weight of the pencil because you want to be able to get as many layers in there as you need so since I'm going to speed up coloring the rest of her skin here what I'm going to say is I'm going to have my light source coming in from this top corner here. So the light's going to be coming at her like this. So anything on this side is going to be more shadowed. So there's going to be a shadow on her arm here. It's going to be a shadow here where her arm comes in front of her um, upper arm. It's going to be a shadow in around her hand here under her neck. Um, of course I am going to give her cleavage. More cleavage I should say because I like the girls to look super sexy and seductive. Sorry if that embarrasses you, but it's an adult coloring book, so why not make them as gorgeous and stunning as you can? Um, I would probably also put some shadow in behind these pearls, and probably just a little bit here. And then everything on this side, so her neck here, her shoulder here, and her arm here would be the lightest. Um, it would also definitely shadow her hand a little bit, although that's going to be pretty tricky. It's going to be more shadowed where her fingers go in under her cheek here, and it's also going to be shadowed where her hand is like at the bottom here, as well as her fingers. So her hand is actually going to be pretty dark in general. Hopefully that explains it enough for you guys and makes sense. I know a lot of people struggle with putting in shadows, so I always like to try and explain that the best I can. I'm definitely no expert, but the more you practice, the more you get better. Um, I also advise you to look at objects in like everyday life, even my hand right now. Where the light's hitting it is lighter, and then where it rounds off down, it's more shadowed. So if you just pay attention to shadows in real life, it definitely helps you try and figure out where shadows are in your pictures. So now we are going to switch back to Clay Rose. And I'm just going to go lightly over the dark umber and just bring that color down a little bit further. Still going fairly light. I'm going to start putting a shadow in under her nose here. So I don't want it to be too dark, but I want it to be fairly noticeable. And I'm just going to kind of do a U-shaped shadow under her nose. I know it looks kind of funny for now, but I promise you it won't look that funny, or hopefully won't. I'm definitely no expert, but sometimes things just don't turn out the way you want them. So again, we're going to do the exact same thing except with the peach pencil and we're just going to bring those shadows out even further. I can't decide if I want her to wear makeup or not. Probably not since she's underwater. Probably just do the usual dark eyes to suggest that she's wearing mascara and eyeliner. Okay, with the peach, I'm just going to go over and do another light layer all over her face. But I'm going to skip this area here where her nose will be. I want that to kind of stay bright for now. We'll go back in with our beige and just do the exact same thing, except we're just going to go very lightly just over everything again, including the area where her nose is. 
very light little circles. And lastly, we'll do the same thing with the peach. Okay, so here we have a fairly nice buildup of layers. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, um, maybe let's take the peach for starters. See, I've done a few noses, so usually I would go in with the light umber. But if you're just starting on noses and need the practice, I would definitely go in with one of your lighter colors and just try and very lightly shadow in your nose. So you don't want to make it too dark until you're happy with how it looks. So I'm just going to very lightly... Yeah, kiddo. Okay, one second, babe. I don't even know if you can really see that. I'll try and get my camera to zoom in here. So you can just see I added a line here, kind of fading up towards the crease in her eye, and a line here fading up towards the crease in her eye. I think I'm quite happy with the placement of that. So... Now I will go in with my light umber, and I don't want this to be very dark at all. And just on the outside of where I put that line, I'm just going to very lightly block that in and fade it up as you get into that curve. And do the same on the other side. So I'm going to have it a little bit darker because this side of her nose will be in shadow. I think I did the nose a little bigger than I wanted to. One second. Okay, sorry about that. So, just gonna very lightly, it's gonna have a darker line right about here, and then it's going to fade out a little bit. Also, I'm gonna just give it a little bit of a darker shadow underneath her nose. I think what I was saying, or was about to say, I'm not sure. So I think I made her nose a little bit wider than I wanted to. And I don't know if I'd be able to fix that or not. Um, hmm. Let's try going like this. Let's make another line in with our light umber. Yeah, that's about what I want. Okay, so I'm just going to make that shadow in a little bit more, and change of plans, she's going to be pretty tan. So, oh, this is not the clay rose, sorry guys, that was the light umber still. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to come back in here, and using a medium pressure now, I'm just going to darken up these shadows. Make sure you're lightening your pressure as you fade outwards. And darken up the shadow on this cheek. We'll bring it in under her chin here and we'll lighten up as we get to this side. Because this side's not going to be in as much shadow. We'll go over it just a little bit. Just so you can tell that her cheek isn't just flat and that it's kind of turning back in where we can't see it. I'm going to darken up this shadow here where her hair is covering her forehead. Let's go in with our clay rose, and we're going to do the same thing again. We're going to go over here. We're going to put that shadow in, shadow a little bit on this side. Make sure you fade it out. I'm also going to bring the shadow down here a little bit, because since the light is coming this way, it would be shadowed in this corner of her nose, too. And then, just 
just with our light pressure, we're just going to go in and add a little bit more to these shadows. Just enough so you can see it. I'm going to shade underneath her lip here a little bit so it looks like her bottom lip's kind of popping out. It gives them kind of a pouty look. Lightly go over these areas. We want to keep them fairly light. Okay. Let's go in with our peach here. I'm just going to pop a little bit of the peach on this side of her nose. Again, in the shadow, just a tiny bit on this side. Just under her nose. And then back to adding to our shadows. And we just go over our shadows like this so we can make sure that they fade nicely into where our highlights are going to be. Very light on this side. And darker up here. I always find coloring Hannah's work super relaxing, especially the skin because I really take my time on it, whereas everything else I usually rush. So the skin always looks the best in my opinion. <laughs> okay, so I think that definitely fixed her nose up a little bit. It looks a little funnier on camera than it does in person. But now it definitely looks like this side is shadowed, which is totally fine because that's what we want. It's a little bit more shadowed on this side than I wanted, but I'm hoping if I go over that with the lightest color, it will uh, lighten it up a little bit. That's another reason why you don't want to press too hard, because then you don't have that option of attempting to light it up. I mean, you could still attempt it, but it probably wouldn't work as well. So next we're just going to come in with our beige and just do the same thing. We'll add into this shadow and fade it out a little bit more. Add a little bit over on this side of her nose and again under her nose. And then we'll just go in and cover up over these shadows. Just bringing it down a little bit more. We're just covering it where we can't really add more. light over here so I think where her highlights are gonna be it's just about the middle of her forehead just gonna have a highlight down the middle of her nose this cheek here is gonna be pretty light and just this area right here is going to be fairly light So I'm not going to go in with the light peach just yet. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to start working on her blush here. So what I'm going to do, if you guys don't mind me turning this a little bit, so I'm just going to very lightly come in at the corner of her face. Now this is about the same pressure that I was using when I first started doing the layers on her skin. It's very light. It shows up quite well though because it's such a dark color. So I'm going to bring it to about there and then I'm going to press even lighter so you can barely see it. Just fade it out. And then the same on this side. Just very light. And then go even lighter. I think I'm going to add just a little bit more to this side since it's in shadow so much. Okay, I like that. So next, we'll go in with our hot pink. And I'm not going to go over the process red. I'm just going to go over where we faded it out. And just add in some color there and then fade this out. I don't want it coming out too far. Um, the rule that I follow with blush is I never let it come out past the corner. It gets fairly close, usually about 
to half of her um, iris. And I'll just kind of circle that down. I find that kind of makes it look more natural. Everybody's always afraid of getting that clown look, but I find this way, to me anyways, it doesn't really look clownish, it looks more natural. What do you yeah. have, kiddo? Oh, are you eating mommy's chips? Yeah. Okay, just don't make a mess, okay? I'm going to go back in with the process red and just kind of blush in a little more color, just lightly. I'm going to darken up this very tip of this corner just slightly and then fade it out from there. And I think that's the blush finished. Now I'm going for a really natural blush. Um, if you wanted the blush to still look this um, vibrant, I would maybe not burnish it when I do. When I go to burnish it, I would probably add in a little bit more blush and just make it slightly darker before you go ahead and burnish it. But uh, I want this to look more natural, so it's actually going to turn out looking lighter than it does right now. Uh, once I go over with the lighter colors. So now I think I'm at a fairly good area that I am going to start burnishing her skin. I'm going to start with the shadows. I'm just going to darken them up even more. I'm going to make this line by her nose here just a little darker, fade it out, and bring it just a little bit under her nose, and then of course lighter on this side, but we still want a noticeable shadow, just not as dark as it's going to be over here. I'm just going to very lightly just define this line. And I think I am happy. Oh, sorry guys, that was the light umber. I think I'm happy with that. So I'm going to go in with the clay rose. And we're using medium pressure for this one over top of the light umber. And I'm just going to keep going over it and over it until it's pretty much burnished. And then I'm just going to fade it out. Same with under here. Fairly heavy on top of the light umber until it's burnished and then fade it out. And same with here. And here, I'm going to make a very dark line over top of that light umber and also fade that out. And then just a little bit of a shadow underneath her nose here. I'm going to do the same thing up here. And then lighter on this side. I'm not even going to burnish the shadows with the clay rose on this side. We will burnish the shadows with either the peach or the beige. I'm just blocking that shadow under her lips a little better. So you can tell she's definitely starting to come along. So let's move to our peach now. Let's see how dark this is. I'm just going to go over top of everything, even though this area is already pretty burnished. 
And then once I start to see the peach's color, I'm going to fade it out immediately. And I'm just going to do that over all of the shadows here. So the peach is still fairly dark, so I'm not going to burnish this side with the peach. I'm going to burnish this side with the light peach, I think. So I'm just going to keep my pencil as light as I can on this side, but I still want to get in a little bit of color here, just so you can see it, and so the transition from the shadow to the highlight is just smooth so it's not as sudden. And do the same thing here, just go over all the shadows, fade it out. And just lightly on this side. And you notice as I'm doing the nose, I'm always kind of doing that. I really want to block in that shape of the nose. I'm going under her mouth here, just lightly. And I don't know if I did up here, but it doesn't look like it. So I'm just going to bring down a little bit more of the peach color. Okay, I like how that looks. So our next color is the beige. And if you've noticed the pattern, we're just going to keep doing the exact same thing. Now, by this point, the shadows over here are really burnished. It's starting to look really smooth. The transition is really nice. I'm just going to go in, and I'm using a fairly firm pressure here. I'm going to go in and I am going to make sure all these shadows are pretty much completely burnished. And I'm going to fade it out as we get to where our highlights would be, which is like I said, will be around here, her nose, just right here on her face, and right here on her face, as well as here. But there's still going to be a little shadow, they just won't be as dark, I'm hoping. So. I'm just going to go in around to the middle of her chin here and burnish in all of this. And then fade it out. Just go back in around her nose. Just in around up here. And by her eye. And we'll just come in and lightly add some color around here. Okay, so now we're also going to go on the inside of this ridge of her nose here. We're just going to layer in some of the peach here. Just kind of, you can barely see it, but there's just this small sliver of white left here. We want to keep that as light as we can because that's where our highlight will be. You just keep going over your shadows until you're happy with how they look. You want it to look relatively smooth. I know that uh, the paper in Hannah's books are very hard to get that smooth effect. You'll still always have that little bit of white showing through. But you can get it very smooth for the most part. It just takes a lot of layers. Okay, I think I'm happy with that, so let's go in with our last layer, which will be the light peach. And I'm just going to go in over the highlights. Kind of blend everything together a little bit. Just going over wherever I can see white dots. Again, I'm using very firm pressure here. I'm kind of building it up. I'm starting in areas with a lighter pressure and then building up to a more firm pressure. Now, just in case you haven't seen my skin tutorial on my Wendy Color Along, or Wendy Color Along, I'm not sure how to pronounce her name. Um, I always get a lot of people that ask how they how I do the eyes. 
because a lot of people get stumped that the corners of her eyes on the inside are left open. So what I do is I just fade her skin right up to this imaginary line where the two lines meet. And I just leave it like that. Just a seamless little fade, just kind of so it fades to white. And you could also just take a black pen and, you know, just kind of do your own little half circle here to kind of make her eyeball. But I just prefer to leave the eyes open. I don't know why, I just do. So I'm going to go all the way to the shadows here. And as you can see, they are quite a bit lighter than the other side because we're not going to touch the other side with the light peach. We're going to keep it dark. And again, same thing, just fade it into the corner of her eye here. Kind of go over these shadows just to soften them up a little bit. And I think her face is done. I'm actually really liking how that turned out. See up close so you can kind of see that there's still white left on the paper. But if it's farther away, it's a little bit harder to tell. Okay guys, I gotta say one thing here, um, one thing I did notice that a lot of people might find tricky is that behind her arm here is shadowed, but this side of her arm here is also going to be shadowed. So what you want to do there is you just want to make sure that your shadow behind where her arm um, goes over her upper arm, you want this to be darker so that you can tell that this is still in shadow, but you can also tell that this is behind this arm. It will be more in shadow. I just wanted to clarify that for you guys.
Okay, everybody, so there is her skin finished. I hope that the speed part of this was easy enough to follow. Um, I'm definitely super happy with how this turned out. I can definitely say that even compared to when I first started doing this skin, I am definitely getting better as I keep doing it. So really, practice does make, well, maybe not perfect, but pretty close. So again, let me know if you guys want me to record the coloring of the rest of this picture. Uh, like I said, if enough people want me to, then I will. Um, I will say that if I do, she's definitely going to have some kind of ombre color hair. I want to say blue and purple or blue and pink, but I'm not sure. Um... So yeah, guys, let me know um, if you have any videos that you would like to see or suggestions that you'd like to make. Go ahead and leave them in the comments. Um, if you are a fan of Hannah's work and you aren't in our group on Facebook, I highly suggest that you join because it's full of great tips, friendly people, and loads of inspiration. Uh, we will probably enable you, though. That is the only thing. Um, anyways, until next time, guys, take care.